Hi, I'm Maria from Crochet A to Z and welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, thank you for being here. I want to thank you for everyone for being here today. And I also want to say, I hope you had a happy and healthy Thanksgiving yesterday. And I hope you enjoyed the time with your family and uh, enjoyed the peace that this um, holiday truly brings because it's kind of a laid back holiday. You don't really have to do anything, but get everything ready to cook and then you can enjoy each other. So I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. So today I wanna to show you how to make these Christmas balls, Christmas baubles, whatever you wanna call them, but they are fantastic. Now, you can make them and you can use these to put on your Christmas tree. You can give them as gifts. You can put them on packages, and instead of a bow, you can put this on the package. You can make just this pot alone, just this pot alone of the pattern, and use it as a scrubby. If you wanted to add this for the scrubby and give them away as holiday scrubbies, that's fine too. Another thing that you can do with these, the whole thing, is you can make it to make a mug rug. If you wanted to make it a little wider, you could just repeat the last row a second time and you can make a nice mug rug with these. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this and they're really fun to make and easy and I'm gonna just show you how. And like I said, you can make them in different colors. I've made these as scrubbies alone. Yes, I have in different colors. You can use cotton or cotton organic yarn and uh, they make great scrubbies. You make, I put seven of them together. You can sell them at bazaars. You can sell them, you know, on Etsy. Um, you can give them away as gifts, stocking stuffers. They're just great. And like I said, mug rug, hang on tree, give us a gift as a stocking stuffer, or um, put it on a package and use it instead of a bow. So I'm gonna show you how easy these are to make. I wanna mention that everything that I've made thus far, as far as the star is concerned, I used all acrylic yarn for, um, for weight yarn, for medium weight yarn. So I wanna mention that. For this particular pattern, I'm gonna use Color Theory yarn. And this color that I'm gonna use is, uh, and it is 100% acrylic. And I do love uh, color theory, and I'm going to do it in amethyst. And then I'm and I'm using the uh, silver with a little bit of, you know, shine here and a little bit of glitz for this as well. So let's get started. And what we have to do is we have to do a slip knot. As I always say, and I am using an H hook. And you can see my dog's little teeth on there. She got a hold of this and ran off with it. I had to run after her and get it. So try not to keep them stuff like this around, but sometimes they fall and puppy gets them before I do. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do your slip knot and then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. For those of you that are new to crochet, this is your working chain. These are your chains, they look like these, and this is your slip knot. I wanna mention I'm going slow. If you wanna follow along, get some yarn. If you want to write it down, I'm gonna go slow, so follow me. So now after we chain four, we're going to do a slip stitch right in here. And that's that. Now we're going to chain one, two. This chain two counts as a half double crochet. Now we're going to work everything up in the middle. So now we're going to do 11 half double crochets. I'm gonna show you right in this little spot. So that's two. three, four, and you can work this in so that you just can cut it off afterwards, but 
so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then I'm going to pull this here so it kind of closes it up a little bit. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch in that very first half double crochet. So we're going to go right in there and we're going to do a slip stitch to join it. Now we're going to go to row two. So we're going to chain one. This chain one counts as nothing. At that chain one, right there, we're going to do two half double crochets. So at the chain one, we're going to do two half double crochets. So we're going to go in here. One, two. In the next one, the next space, or the next half double crochet, we're going to do two more. We're gonna go right around. We're gonna make two more half double crochets and we're gonna make them all the way around until we get to the very end. And we have, we're going to have, we started with 12 half double crochets in our circle. This next row, we're going to have 20, Four. Okay, we're going to go around and we're going to keep going. And like I said, I'm going to go slow because I want you to be able to follow me. And um, if you want to write it down, you can write it down. The great thing about this uh, project, as well as the other projects, is if you wanted to, um, if you have a lot of yarn left over from different projects, this is a great um, thing to use and get that taken care of. You can use a lot of your leftover yarns from other projects for this particular project. So you're just going to keep doing two right around. I'm going to just pull this so that it right around two in each spot. And you'll have 24. And we're at the end so right here we're going to do a slip stitch right where we have our first half double crochet and this is what it looks like so now we're going to chain one and I want you to realize that we've made our first row and our second row and we're going to do our third row this is four rows if you want to make it bigger, by all means, do so. But I just wanted to mention this is four rows. So we chained one. Now, in this one, we're going to do right where we did that chain one that counts as nothing. We're going to do one, two half double crochets. In the next one, we're going to do 
one half double crochet in the next one we're going to do two half double crochets by the way you can also make a banner with this if you wanted to make a banner out of the boggles but you can do that two one two So you can make a banner out of these Christmas balls and you, or you can change them up and use the Christmas trees, the snowflake and the Christmas balls and make a banner like that as well. So now you did two, we're going to do one in the next one. And we're going to go all the way around and we're going to Now we did two, we're gonna do one. We're gonna do two. We did two, we're gonna do one. We're gonna do two. And you can make a lot of these in one day. And they really do make nice coasters as well. So um, they make ni really nice coasters, especially holiday coasters. Uh, they're really cute for that. Um, and you could even leave, like if you wanted to make the holiday coaster, you know, you make this as well because it just looks cute. It's just different. So. We're going to do two. We're going to do one. We're going to do two. Do row one. We're gonna do two. And now we're going to do two. And then the last one, we're gonna do one. Now I want to mention to you that. With this one, you started with two, you go and end with one. So whatever you started with, you're going to end with one in this row. So I just wanted to let you know that if you end with, if you end up ending with one, you're good to go. So now you're going to do a slip stitch right in here to join it. And that's what it looks like. Now, there are 36 in this, in this uh, third row. You're going to chain one. Guess what? We're on our fourth row. This is so quick, so easy. You're gonna chain one. And in that spot, you're gonna go right in there where the chain one is. Let's see where it is. Pull it apart with your finger. You're gonna do a half double crochet after you chain one. Chain one counts as nothing. Now you're going to do a second half double crochet in that same spot. Now in the next spot, you're going to do one half double crochet. In the next spot, you're going to do 
one half double crochet in the next spot you're going to do two half double crochets one two then you're going to do one half double crochet and one half double crochet in the next one in the next spot you're going to do two half double crochets and then in the next spot in the next spot you're going to do one half double crochet and you're going to do another one half double crochet in the next spot and we're going to do this all the way around two half double crochets one half double crochet one half double crochet in the next spot two one two one half double crochet next spot and another half double crochet in the spot after that and we're going to continue to do this all the way around two halves one half in the next and a one half in the next two I think I have see a little knot here I can feel it and I'm just gonna pull this out this is the stuff that you don't expect to happen while you're doing this but that's okay we can get through it we're doing this just gonna pull us apart there yeah. that was easier than I thought and then we're gonna do one in the next one because we did two and then one in the next one then after that we did the two one, then we're going to do two. Do one. They're going to do one in the next spot. And we're going to go all the way around until we get to the end repeating the two half double crochets in one spot and then one half double crochet in the next two spots We did two. I'm going to go in the next spot and we're going to do one. This yarn is so one of my favorite yarns, Color Theory by um, Lion Brand, once again. So we did two, one, one. Now we're going to do two. Now I want to show you again, we're getting to the end. So we're going to do one in here. And one in the next one. And then we're going to join. Because we end up started with two, we end with one. And that's. And that will flatten out as you go move along. So I just want to mention. So you've gone into all of your spots and you're all set. Now what we're going to do is 
after we join we're going to cut this and cut it long enough I'm gonna show you what to do if you should cut it too short because gosh yes I have done that and then we're gonna just pull that and make it nice and tight and there it is right there so now what we're going to do is we're going to make this spot this is what we're going to make and you can go anywhere you want to do that so now i weaved this in as i went along because i had a long tail to begin with so i'm going to just cut that and I want to show you as well, this here, this spot here, you can weave this in. If you want to do it before you get started and the next portion of this, you can. You can weave it right in and just get it out of the way. Or you can wait to the end. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. And... Um, but you just weave it along and I want to show you it's just weave along and I've got it I'm weaving it along in the back end which I I call the my wrong side and once you weave it in enough you can cut the extra because I made these a little longer because I wanted to show you that you can cut the extra right off and then you're good to go so now what you're going to do is we're going to make the top right here. So I do the top. I'm going to show you how I do it. I make a slip knot. I find my wrong and my right side. This is my wrong side and I can tell and I'm going to show you. See, this is, I want to show you your wrong, right side. When you turn it around, you can tell that this is the wrong side. See the, you get the intricate part of the stitches on the wrong side. When you turn it around, you can actually see your half double crochets. So I want to show you that. See, so you can actually see the intricate part of your stitches so I wanted to show you that so now what I'm going to do is after I do my slip knot I'm going to find a spot doesn't matter where and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pull this right in here and I'm going to do a slip stitch and you can tighten this as well and then I'm going to chain one. Counts as nothing. And I'm going to do a half double crochet right in this spot that I did my chain one. So I want to show you. There you go. So another half double crochet in the next stitch. Another half in the next stitch another half in the next one. So I want to show you one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now you're going to chain one. You're going to turn your work around and you're going to do a half double crochet in here. So now, like I said, you're going to go right in this first, see where you are? You're going to go right in there and you're going to do a half double crochet right in that first stitch. You're going to go in the next one. That's two, three, four and the last one is five 
Now, if you feel as though you just want to do two, you can. I do three rows. I chain one. I turn my work around. Another half double crochet in here. Another half double crochet in here. And I make five more. And then the last stitch. And there it is. And this will flatten out. So don't worry that it looks like it's not going to flatten out, but it will because these did. So now you're going to chain one. And you can block these if you wanted to, but as you can see, these, these all flattened out. Chain one. You're going to turn your work around and you're going to do a slip stitch. In the second one, you're going to do a slip stitch. Now you're going to chain either 15 or 20, depending on how long you want this. So I just want to mention that depending on how long you want this, that's how long, uh, how much you want to chain. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip that middle one and you're going to go to this end one, not the end one, next to the last one. And you're gonna pull that up and do a slip stitch because you're gonna join it together. Then in the very last stitch, you're going to do another slip stitch. And you're going to do that. So what happened is, here it is. So now what you're going to do is you're going to cut this end, cut it long enough. And you're gonna slip that through. And there it is. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get these ends and you're going to work them in. Now, you can find whatever way you want to work them in. I like to work this particular end. I like to work it down the side. And I just go in and out and I weave it right in. and I pull it right through. Now you can cut it here if you want. If you wanna weave it some more, you can do that. I'm going to cut here. And I'm just gonna cut that. This is, these are so pretty. And with the different colors, they are just great. Now see this one, We're gonna, I'm gonna weave this in. But I'm going to show you what I do if, suppose this was too short, and I tried to make it short because I wanted to show you something. So, and you're saying, oh, I can't, I can't weave it. So what I do is if I've cut something short, which I did on purpose, I'm going to show you what I do. I weave my needle in without anything attached to it. I weave it in and then I get this end and I put it in my needle while it's my needles weaved in and that's in and then I pull this through and what it'll do I want to show you 
it is it's going to work that in it'll work it in so that you can pull that yarn through without little to no effort and you just get it in and there it is at the end see the very end and you weaved it in even though you say oh my gosh and i do that i've done it we've all done it i don't care how long you've been crocheting you just cut it too short misjudge whatever not thinking late in the night <laughs> there are many reasons and you just cut it and and you weave it in and you just cut it but you can weave your needle in first to the way you want it just weave it where you want to weave your thread and then you attach your thread to the end and just pull it right through and that's a great way to weave your ends in if you've cut them too short so this is your boggles your bangles whatever you want to call them your um your um balls for your christmas tree if you wanted to put them on a christmas tree put them on a on a um you know on a package instead of a bow yeah uh, and you can make a banner with this if you wanted to with the different things say you wanted to put a tree there and put but and make a crochet banner and do that or if you just want to make them all with the same ones um, if you want to make this into a coaster and you could put a cup right there if you want to make it a little bit bigger you just do that last round uh, the next for one more row um, I've actually used my cup on these uh, this size if you wanted to just make this and give it as a scrubby you can do that as well and these can be nice with cotton or cotton organic cotton you can do that and there's a lot of things you can do with this if you wanted to use it as an applique just like the trees you can use those as appliques say you were making a one color blanket but you just wanted to put all different appliques of christmas stuff like you know this or a tree um a, you know a star a snowflake really cute uh you could do that as well so this is maria from crochet a to z I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the uh, little Christmas ornaments, whatever you want to call them, ornaments, boggles, uh, bangles. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, if you have a name for them, uh, send them over to me and let me know what you want to call these. And um, this is Marie from Crochet A to Z. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please like. It does help the algorithms to get out there so other people can see these tutorials. And um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's a lot more coming your way. Um, I really wanted to do this one tonight. I was going to wait till next week, but then I have other stuff that I want to do next week as well um, to show you. So um, this was great. Um, I love um, all your feedback. I love your comments. I love you just saying hello. Um, it's always great to hear from you. I love when you let me know where you're coming where you're from and all the areas that you're from. It's just really interesting uh, to know the different areas that you're from and uh, give a shout out to those areas. Um, I know you're out there from New York. I know you're out there from Brunswick. I know you're out there from um, Italy, from France um, and all over the country, Nebraska um, and all parts of New England. Um, so welcome to the channel. Uh, so just shoot me an email or shoot me, as I said before, just put in a comment where you're from. Um, and if you're going to do this, uh, what you're going to do with it? Are you going to use it as a coaster? Are you going to use it as a, for a tree ornament? Are you going to give it away as a little stock and stuff? Or are you going to put them on packages or even the, uh, the, uh, the paper packages, you know, the um, little bags? So just let us know what you're going to do so that you can let the rest of us know because the community, we've learned from each other. So thank you. This is Maria from Crochet A to Z. Have a great day. Bye-bye.